Hi everyone and welcome. Today I wanted to show you my Christmas journal that is going to be available in my shop right now. And this is a journal that is made out of a, a cookie advertising cookbook. It's a, um, I'm not sure what it was advertised. Oh, uh, Pillsbury. It was a, an old vintage um, advertising cookbooklet. You've seen a lot of those. Probably your grandmother had a ton of them. I know mine did. And they're just so much fun to go through. And I love the cover art of the cookbook. So I basically kept this pretty clear. Um, I just decorated the side with a little bit of a um, gingham ribbon right here. Um, but I have the, the front is clear. The front is clear of any kind of decoration other than the advertising. And then in the back here, you see... Um, it's actually for flower, Pillsbury flower. So um, on the back, it's just got kind of a little cookie theme. So sort of sort of a Christmas theme in that way. And this is chock full. I basically um, gave a lot of room for writing. And then I just stuffed it full of all kinds of really fun vintage ephemera. I have, uh, I think all the pages in here, all the uh, signature pages, the scrapbook pages are from October afternoon. So they're from my personal collection, which I have a hard time parting with, but the graphics are so beautiful and I just love them and they're perfect for Christmas journals. So I have to include them. So I've got October afternoon uh, scrapbook pages, as well as a couple little uh, ephemera pieces from, from their collections. Everything else is pretty much all vintage. So these are things that I found throughout the year, um, shopping, thrifting, um, uncovering all kinds of really fun treasures. So I, this is a very joyful journal. It's just full of lots of color and fun. So I'll show you a little bit of it. Um, I don't want to take a lot of the pieces out because I kind of have them arranged perfectly in here. So I'll kind of just give you a, a sneak peek of the ephemera pieces, but I'll show you the pages. So there's a double pocket on the inside here where I have all kinds of little ephemera pieces here. And then this is an insert from a magazine from, I believe, the 1950s. And it's about, it's a scotch tape advertisement. And I just thought this was fun. This is a fun little booklet. It was a pullout. So I just attached it to the inside page here. So you can kind of look through it and have some fun with that. Again, a lot of this stuff is removable. So you can kind of arrange things how you want in the journal. If you want to move things around, it's very easy to do that. So let's see, let's go here. Um, I've also covered the inside signature. The this, this is one signature. It's kind of a traveler's notebook style uh, journal, and the first the the signature uh, cover. The inside of it has a uh, calendar on the inside of it from 1943, and this is just a nice kind of decoration. But you could even write things on the days of. The month if you want to there's little lines here if you wanted to add things but i just thought it looked it, it matched really nicely with the paper and just looked really cute with the theme and then there's vintage greeting card some ledger paper just lots of vintage uh, papers to write on some score sheets bridge score sheets some stationery um, this is a little piece from the actual advertising booklet i was kind of trying to pull out things that looked a little more holiday themed so i, I pulled out the Christmas, kind of a cookie theme here. And there's a little uh, coloring book page from a Christmas coloring book. And then some more pockets just kind of filled with lots of vintage ephemera and little October afternoon pieces. Um, there's little little place card in here too. You can, uh, there's places you can write in here. You can open it up and, and keep it, do hidden journaling if you want to. So I kind of included lots of little things like that. I have a little uh, Christmas greeting card in there as well, vintage greeting card. But I don't want to pull any of this out because I have it <laughs> layered so nicely. And then on the inside of this particular uh, scrapbook page, I have a really pretty uh, painting of a kind of winter scene. So I thought that added a nice kind of decoration here. That and then I just have some uh, recipe cards and just some little flips here and again these are removable so you can go ahead and kind of move things around if you want and then there's a little winter poem I thought was really nice for the for the journal and then I have a little I got these really fun recipe cards they're actually drink cards so they're kind of like the this is I don't even know this isn't Betty Crocker this is Random House so this is along the lines of those 
kind of uh, recipe of the month card uh, catalog things that you we'd get back in the 60s and the 70s and this is from Random House and this particular set was for drinks and then foods and appetizers that kind of go with the drinks so the card is really fun and I got this holiday themed one for holiday glog that I included and I just thought the picture is great I'll show you a close-up it's I don't know you tell me if it looks appetizing or not I'm not sure <laughs> but but it does look festive so um but there's a nice recipe that you could even try if you wanted to and then it has um like little tips on the holidays uh on the back of each of these cards it has tips on how to serve different things and it's it's kind of fun it's different than kind of the regular recipe cards so I wanted to include kind of a holiday themed one and this is a vintage placemat that I kind of turned into a pocket so I have a couple little things in here and then this is a sheet from a railroad uh, this is a daily railroad uh, passing report but it's green so I wanted to include that for Christmas and then just some more kind of themed things and I have a little stationary card here with another little uh, needle booklet I've been wanting to include this needle booklet and I thought this is perfect for Christmas so I didn't include the needles though I didn't want <laughs> I didn't know if people wanted needles or not. So instead of the needles, I took those out and I added a little uh, vintage Christmas tag. And again, you can add journaling in any one of these little hidden places here too. So I've got out that. And this is just kind of like the back of everything. It's a winter memory poem. And then this is the other part of the, the painting. I really like this. I think this just fits into the theme of a journal so nicely. This is kind of, this is one of my favorite Christmas journals, I think. And it's funny, I, I kind of put it together just having fun and I wasn't thinking too much about it. And that's always the way it goes. I think when you do journaling or, or create a junk journal, when you're not thinking about it so much and just kind of having fun with it, I think you end up putting a lot of thought into it and um, without even trying. And I was just adding some really fun things to it. So I don't know. I think you're really going to enjoy this one. This is a uh, transfer envelope. It had some holiday themed transfers in it. And I like the envelope. So I just kept the envelope, attached it to this page. And then I put a couple little surprises in here too. So, um, but again, you could add more journaling if you wanted to. And just kind of tuck it inside this envelope. So I want to make sure I included an envelope. It's the other part of the Christmas game. More cookies, recipes, and I love this stationery. It's beautiful season's greeting stationery. And then just more scorecards. And let's see. Oh, this is the back of the greeting card. I just added a vintage uh, Christmas label to that. And this is the other part of the calendar. And then more pockets in the back here. These are really fun. I just stuffed it full of, these are all vintage, vintage and a couple of October afternoon things. And then I've got a little uh, tear out from a magazine, a little article, and a postcard, and just like some cluster embellishments. And that's it. So this is very thick. <laughs> I actually might, um, I'm thinking I'm going to include a ribbon too to kind of tie around it to keep everything together. So I'll, I'll add a pretty um, green gingham ribbon uh, just to cut, tie around it that you can remove if you want, if you don't want to have it, but um, that'll kind of keep everything put together. So this is available in my shop right now. So go ahead and take a look over there. There are still some uh, vintage Christmas ephemera kits. I have a, a couple left of my mini kits to make your own journal from a vintage Christmas card. So there's a couple of those and there's, I think, a tag kit. And there's actually a couple of regular junk journals too. So if you're looking for a, a last minute gift or something, um, there is no, I, I can't guarantee any of this, none of this will be available to be delivered by Christmas. It'll be after Christmas, but um, I'm going to leave my Christmas themed items in the shop and the journals will be there for a while. Um, so you can go take a look, but go ahead and head over there. And always be sure to follow my shop because you always get updates right away when I put something new in there. So, um, so that's everything. So let me know if you have any questions and I'll have the link below to the journal. And I hope everybody has a happy holiday and I'll see you in my next video.